What is up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon live discussion video. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who've noticed it. Out of the Sun and Moon news that we've gotten recently, there's one thing that they haven't talked about, but they've been teasing it throughout the entire set of videos that have been released these past like two days. And it has to do with the concept of Mega Evolution. And as you can see by the title, it's about Burst Evolution. Now this video is going to have to do more about the stuff that was recently revealed and less about the former speculation, but this is going to be a follow-up to a previous video I made called the second stage to mega evolution where I tell you what burst evolution is where it came from and why it makes full sense hundred percent sense so click the video on screen or the first link in the description check out the video and then move back to this one so burst evolution in the side manga was a concept where as a last resort a trainer could merge with their Pokemon and achieve insane feats the honest truth is it was an amazing idea in Pokemon Disagree with me at first. The idea of merging with your Pokemon may sound odd to you when you think about it, but you're thinking about it the wrong way. You won't be able to fuse with any Pokemon, only the Pokemon closest to you, which points straight to your starter. So now, let me return back to the question. Is that a burst heart? Is the thing we see on the wrists of the trainers in the artwork, in the gameplay, and literally everywhere else, is that a burst heart? And that'll work for Game Freak, so I can't give you the exact answer, but if you want to ask me, I think it is. I really do think that that crystal right there is not called the burst heart, but is what allows you to achieve the second stage to Mega Evolution, which is exactly what Ash Greninja was. Ash Greninja was introduced as a foreshadow to the upcoming feature. You may be yelling at me saying that it doesn't mean it's a burst heart, but let me tell you this. Would Game Freak really take inspiration from a Pokemon side manga and not pay homage to it? The ultimate way to pay homage to Pokemon Rebirth for the concept of merging with your Pokemon is to maintain the crystal idea. Idea. The revamped idea of what Burst Evolution was is what this crystal is, but it's a little different. Instead of the trainer merging with their Pokemon, the trainer's soul synchronizes with the Pokemon, transforming its appearance. So yeah, it makes sense why it takes its trainer's appearance because it has a part of the trainer's soul. And that's exactly why, just as Ash Greninja was about to win against Alan, Ash passes out and gets pretty screwed up to the exhaustion. Like I said in the video I mentioned, Ash Greninja is reminiscent of Mega Evolution. It almost feels like a Mega Greninja in the anime, and I think that's because Mega Greninja is the stage under Ash Greninja. Mega Evolution can be activated when your Pokemon is connected to you through your Keystone and their Mega Stone. That's not natural. A Pokemon needs a keystone to tap into its own power. What is Mega Evolution? Is it natural? Well, it may be. The idea of using keystones and Mega Stones may be a simplified version of what Ash Greninja is. If Ash had a keystone and a Greninjite, he could build a connection between him and Greninja and Mega Evolve it. But if Ash and Greninja are able to fully synchronize naturally, that's the stage above Mega Evolution. And Pokemon Sun and Moon are gonna be the games they finally introduce this. So now let's go back to our screenshots. What is this crystal? The girl has a blue crystal, the boy has an orange crystal. They seem to represent the Sun and Moon legendaries as day and night. Maybe they're related to the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo and Lunala, and maybe they're the only crystals in the world. Would it not make sense if you're given those crystals, and throughout the game it helps you forge a bond between you and your Pokemon, and near the very end of the game, you can finally activate that synchro evolution, merge with your Pokemon? Like, imagine if it activates against the champion. Throughout the entire game, using this crystal, the bond between you and your starter gets stronger and stronger, then at the final champion battle, you can finally use Burst Evolution and become the champion. Doesn't that sound epic? And at the same time, doesn't that make sense? So anyway, I don't think these crystals have to do with genders. I think that the reason the male character has an orange one is because it's Pokemon Sun and the female is playing Pokemon Moon. I also don't think that in the games, it's going to be the opposite character that gets the other crystal. I feel like either your rival down here, how? or it would be some random trainer. Maybe like, it would make sense if the evil team's head had one. If he could use burst evolution against you, if maybe the champion could use burst against you, and you could use burst against like the champion or something. This is the screen where you get to pick the skin tone of your character, and then you get to customize its clothing and hair later on. But if you remember, I was telling you guys the possibility of us moving from Kanto, like our male and female characters coming from the Kanto region, and it sort of confirms a hint towards it, as they say that we are not from the the Alola region. Our main character is from another region, and with the use of red and blue, Kanto could make sense. So actually, I can show you guys a few pieces of gameplay where you can actually see them running around with the burst bracelet on. So here's the first video where you're going through, you're selecting your skin tone, and then when you're starting off, you can see he doesn't have the bracelet on, and she doesn't have her bracelet on either. 
Izzy's walking around now. He still doesn't have it. But right here, he's got it. And she's got it. By the time you get your starter, you get your bracelet. That's the thing. Think about it. If it was a Mega Evolution bracelet, you don't need it by the beginning of the game. You would get your Mega Bracelet halfway through the game so that you could actually use it by then. But if you get the crystal from the moment you get your starter Pokemon, then that's a little fishy. It really does seem like that crystal is going to help build your Pokemon's bonds between you and it until the end of the game. So here's the second trailer with Kukui where he's doing something in the house. I don't know. I think he's like slapping the table. Maybe put the flowers together. So here he's talking to you on your interface. This is the Rotom. You got video chat, you got your Pokemon and settings. I feel like when you minimize a window, it will just go to its symbol and you can open it up again like a little taskbar. But this is the Rotom. So he's video chatting with you, showing you a digital version of the map. The starting island in this game is this one right here. So he could be maybe telling you how to get around this island and Rotom will put indicators to help you out. It's just a really cool uh, system. And this is your professor. So it's be constantly in communication with your professor is really cool. We don't see uh, your rival's other, I mean, he's not your rival, he's your friend. We don't see his other hand, but we still got it right here. It really does look like the second you get your starter, you also get this. There's also a love disc in the tank. Bye. The third gameplay I'm gonna show you is about this girl. Her name is Lily. I called it Lil before and I mispronounced it, but her name is Lily. And I'm telling you this because her name is Lily. Like. The flower. Remember the hint they gave us for the next Pokemon games being something based off a flower? That is a person with the name of a flower. And if you notice on the English side and all that, they call her a mysterious character, like a fishy, a shady character. But in the scene, you apparently sneak up on her by accident. I guess she doesn't see you. There's actually Pokeball in the distance if you notice, right there. But you scare her, I guess. You frighten her. She turns around. God damn it, man. She, you know, she looks like a hex maniac, like a, a hex maniac before. And then you see the after pictures everywhere. She seems to be really shy, but you'll notice she travels a lot with Kukui because she's Kukui's assistant. It's weird. They call her a mysterious girl, but they also call her Kukui's assistant. I don't know what, what fishiness is going on, but that was the third trailer. Here is the last trailer where we get to see our first rival in battle. Whoa, that is a huge exclamation box. So your first rival here actually chooses a Pokemon that's weak against you. This is probably right when you first meet him. So he walks up to you. Yep, that's the scene. That Naruto face. People say that looks like me. That doesn't look like me. And this area where you're first battling him, you can see you've got like the tiki masks and all that in the back. This is, I think, where Hala gives you your Pokemon and Kukui's watching your first battle because he's your real professor. It's still weird how Hala gives you your Pokemon. People are thinking that he's Kukui's superior, like he was the professor before him. It's just really weird. So you get to battle him here. He like stomps on the floor right there. You ready? Look at this. Ooh, let me just stretch. Stomp freaking pissed at you. If you remember in Red and Blue, Gary's sprite, his image, it developed as the game progressed. So when he was the champion, he looked super confident and adamant. In this game, I'm hoping that Hao, that this, that's his name, Hao, he grows and develops more over the course of the game because I feel like he's gonna be like a Lewis. No, not a, a Barry. I, I named him Lewis in the game, but Barry is your rival in the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum games. I feel like that's what he's gonna be like. He's not gonna try to oppose you too much. He'll be more towards helping you than opposing you but i feel like you're gonna have another rival that's gonna have that bossy and pushy let's battle all the time nature i don't think this guy's gonna be the one to have it so he tosses the pokeball in the air and sends out pop leo which means that in this uh session we probably chose rowlet now one thing you notice throughout this entire clip is you don't get to notice whether our trainer has that bracelet on we can see very clearly that he's gotten his starter but he doesn't have the bracelet but they've been blocking it our entire time look he even stretches, he sends out his Pokemon, but before we can even send out our Pokemon, the clip ends. So that's really leading me to believe that, look at the clip ends. I really think that we get our bracelet in the beginning of the game. So that is all time for this video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And also the next video that comes out after this is going to take a bit of time, but it's going to be an analysis of the Kalos, um, F Kalos, of the Alola region. You see all these islands? There's actually a lot, so much to just exploring this because the map is in such high quality you can see each individual island properly and you can actually explore the landscape and all that and when you look deep into it you can find like sacred grounds you can find uh volcanoes 
there's a lot in it. So definitely look out for that video. I'm gonna have to do a lot of just looking. My eyes are gonna hurt. But the main thing I want you guys to speculate on is not these characters and all that, but more about the crystals, man. The burst evolution crystals. I know we shouldn't call them burst evolution crystals. Maybe you can call them uh, sun and moon crystals. But those are super important. Like, th like the fact that they're on the logos means that the game revolves around them. X and Y revolved around Mega Pokemon or as revolved around Primal Kyogre and Groudon. This game potentially is gonna revolve around those crystals as well so speculate on that and as always keep playing keep laughing and keep believing see you in the next video peace